Hey guys, for the Justin here from Charity Baptist Church. So last time I talked about the first point in the Modify Romans Road, that is to make them admit that we are all sinners, okay? Now very rarely people will uh, say that they don't believe they are a sinner. Now that's when it will be helpful to uh, go through a couple of the Ten Commandments. But most of the case, 99% of the case, people will admit that they are sinners right away, okay? Now if someone just keep denying that they are sinners, most of the case, they don't want to hear about the gospel, okay? So you want to leave them with one verse and keep going to the next door. So after they admit that they are sinners, you want to move on to the second point of the Romans road, which is that we all deserve to go to hell. So without further ado, let's roll the intro. <laughs> Now the go-to verse I use um, to make them realize that we all deserve to go to hell is using Romans chapter 6 verse 23 for the wages of sin is death. I would explain to them that because we have sinned, therefore there is a consequence. There is a cause and there is an effect. The Bible says for the wages of sin is death. A wage is basically what we earn. You go to work, they pay you wages. Okay, we have the term minimum wages. So you want to explain to them what is a wage. Wage is like a payment. The payment for sin is death. That is what we earn. But have you heard about the second death? Now some people may say yes, some people may say no. Now I always tell that person, when we die, there's a physical death, but the Bible talks about a second death. Then I would go to Revelation chapter 20, verse 14. The Bible says in uh, Revelation chapter 20, verse 14, and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. So you want to tell them that the second death is hell. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life were, were cast into the lake of fire. And the verse I always show them next is Revelation chapter 21 verse 8. I will tell them the Bible gave us a list of people who are going to hell. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 21 verse 8, But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and notice and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone which is and death. And I will pause a little bit when, when I'm uh, saying all liars. And I will tell them, basically everyone on this earth have done something on this list. Now I have told a lie before, so I'm a liar. Based on this verse, where do I deserve to go when I die? So I open up the conversation, I ask them, I, I'm a liar. So based on this verse, where do I deserve to go? And that person I'm talking to will say, I deserve to go to hell because that's what the Bible says. And then I would ask that person, you have told a lie also, right? So based on this verse, where do you deserve to go when you die? Now, most of the time, that person will say uh, they deserve to go to hell because everyone have lied. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Now, these are the verses that I use to convince people that we all deserve to go to hell. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. Revelation chapter 20 verse 14 through 15 and Revelation chapter 21 verse 8, okay? Now, if someone don't uh, want to admit that they deserve to go to hell, you want to uh, pause at this point until they admit that they deserve to go to hell before you move on to the third point of the Romans road. Now, in the next video, I'm going to talk about how to transition uh, from the second point to the third point of the Romans show, talking about how Jesus Christ, the Son of God, died for our sins and He rose again. God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas.